it's Renee. Welcome to another DIY segment. A couple of months back, I went to Target and bought this messenger bag it's from the brand Marona. I loved it, but turns out the buckle is just silver. And sometimes I wear like golden and silver accessories, but the buckle part is kind of making the whole thing like out of place. But I still like the bag itself. So I'm just going to show you how to go from like a total silver buckle part to this gold and silver one. So the first thing that I do is undo the buckle part to make it easier for me. And then between the buckle part and the back part, I put some back to just avoid the mess in the back. I don't want to ruin the back at all. And then I'm going to be using nail polish. But warning, if you want to go ahead and use any other paint that you have and you think it might work better for this, just go ahead and use whatever you feel comfy with. I'm using nail polish because it's easier and I have more access to it. But again, this is just a personal preference. So since I'm using nail polish, I'm going to start by applying my base coat, waiting for it to dry. Then apply my Rare and Radiant from Shiner Grace, giving it a couple of coats as well. And then I found out the gold part was visible but not as much as I would like to. So I took two pieces of tape and added one on each part of this you know, metal part in the middle. So I did pretty much the same thing, base coat, color and top coat. And once that was dry, I did get some messy parts where I didn't want them to be. So I simply used some Q-tips and some acetone and I just removed the tape itself. I'm not really sure if the exact back this one is still available at Target, but you can do something similar to this. This was more than anything to kind of share other things that you can do with your already existing backs and to kind of take the fear away from you of adding nail polish to it to make it look better. Again, you can use any kind of paint that you have or you prefer. Let me know if you liked it, it was, if it was helpful for you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIYs to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys!